Well, good morning everyone and welcome back to Move Daily Fitness, it's Tracy. Okay, your workout today is a metabolic boot camp. If you've done any of my metabolic smash workouts, you'll get a sort of a sense of what this one's gonna be about, but we're gonna throw a boot camp component into it. So, I've got a variety of different formats for you today. We are gonna start with a cardio Tabata sequence. Uh, I'm gonna move into a compound sequence, do compound exercises. Then we'll throw in a six by six circuit where you do six rounds of six reps for different exercises, lifting heavy. And then we're gonna finish off with a nice little boot camp circuit. We go sort of four different stations, one to one to one to one. So, lots of fun. This is in honor of one of my members, Kelly. It was her birthday. She actually asked me if I could do this workout and I said yes, so here we are. I'll start you with a warm up and we'll end with a nice little cool down and a chat, so join me for that at the end. Grab a variety of dumbbells, your water or BCAAs. Hey, and if you're a busy woman, <laughs> like who isn't, I have a new program just for you, all 30 minute workouts. It's a one month program. You can click the card at the top of the screen and check that out. All right, are you ready to move daily? Let's do it. All right, I have my watch set to high intensity intervals today. Let's just start with a nice warm up here. We'll get everything ready to go for today's jumping, hopping start. Okay, I will show you low impact modifications if you need that though. No worries there. Good, take it wide. Low and open here. Oh, that feels good. Chest stretch there. here. Good, stay wide, touch your toes here. Oh, good. I did walk this morning, so that was great with Denise, my friend. We do that about three, four mornings a week. Love that. Good start to the day. Two more here. All right, let's just go ahead and drop your shoulder do a little inner thigh stretch here as well. Right there we go. Okay, let's stand some circles here. Good, switch directions. Lily is with me this morning here, unfortunately. <laughs> Someone wrote me that their little child uh, yelled at the TV screen, bring out Lily! <laughs> How cute. Oh, I'll reach across. Well, I'll be putting her away soon because she's biting the rubber mat right now and that is annoying. <laughs> she's learning, but slowly. All right, reach up and over. Okay, let's do some circles here. Stretch again here. Switch directions. Hands are on the shoulders and nice little torso twist here. Try to bring those shoulders down and away from your ears. Four more, and three, two, and one. We're just gonna do a little squat tiptoe here, right up to your tiptoes. I just wanna warm your calves up a few seconds here. Good, five more, up for five, four. All right, grab everything and we're starting. This is gonna be your first cardio Tabata. You can walk out with the burpee to modify. You're gonna start with just those two low jacks. So get low here. So it's two, and down to burpee, two jacks here. Good, one, two, and jack. 
I'm just using some push-up handles here to support my wrists. All right, break for 10 seconds. Again, walk this out to modify. Tap, okay, and walk. Here we go, round two. with yourself. Same as you did at the start. Here we go. Seven. Okay, good. Here are your next two exercises, another cardio Tabata circuit. All right, starting with that twist, twist squat. You can tap, tap, squat to modify. All right, work hard. Boom, boom, whoa. for your frog shuffle. So it's a squat, shuffle, squat, walk, come on. Here we go, drop low, here. Touch the ground if you can. Okay, 
quads again, frog shuffle, and work. Round three, four rounds here, and work. Last exercise, then we're moving into some compound work. Here we go, low, quick, let's go. Drop your glutes, go, go, less than 10 seconds. Ooh. Very good, okay, water break, come back for the compound circuit. I'm gonna grab my 15s, you're gonna do a short and long hammer curl with a lunge. So you're gonna go short, long, hammer. Okay, stay on the same side until I call halfway. Ready, here we go. So, short, long, hammer, high knee. Short, long, hammer, high knee. All right, switch legs, and short, long, hammer. Whew, that's a good burn. Oh, you're moving in too. A squat with a lateral raise. I'm just gonna grab my eights. You're gonna squat here, lateral here with bent arms. Low up here. Here. Reach your hips back. Stay as tall as you can, keep your chin up, okay? Here. That's it, heart rate's skyrocket in here. It's a tough one. All right, take it to the ground. Crush grip, press to overhead tricep extension while in banana boat. So legs are off the ground. Um, up, over, up, and down. Here we go, touch them together. Press up, back, up, push your back into the ground. Pick 
you have to eliminate the legs, do that. I'm using 15s here. challenging. All right, your last one in this circuit is a standing elbow to knee. I'm going to grab just eight. Both are going to be overhead. We're going to reach elbow to knee and take it back up there. So you're here and here. Watch your face slow and controlled. Eight is plenty here for me. seconds here. Feel the shoulders. Okay. Very good. Round two. Sip if you need. You're going into the lunges. Holding 15s. Long and short lunge. High knee. Well, long hammer here. Last one on this side. Switch legs. Especially if you're lifting eight or above, feel free. If you're lifting lighter, you could take it straight arm. Here we go. Up, back, up, and down. in and out of the legs as I, as I can. Nice. Holding the 15s makes that really challenging, so I'm just listening to my body. Okay. Standing. Elbow to knee. I've got my eights again here. Hold them up. And nice and slow. And here. Press. Thank <laughs> you. 
Don't arch your back. If you are, lighten your weight or eliminate the knees. Okay. That one is also challenging. I like it. Round three. Okay. Long and short lunge. Tummy tight. Take it short, long hammer. Switch legs. too much in the back. Just give me the tricep and the press. And Finish off with our elbow to knee. Again, we're holding eights here. With those shoulders. Both up and twist. halfway. Keep it going. Stay strong in your core. Squeeze those abs. It's getting hard. And there we go. Okay. Grab some water. Your six by six circuit is next. Here are your four exercises for that circuit. Starting with six ultimate deadlifts. There's the five components of the ultimate deadlift. Okay, you've got six, six times of this. All right, here we go. So deadlift, high pull, squat, curl, press, that's one. You got six. I'm using 15s here. Two, three, four, five, 
One more here. I'm going into good mornings now. If you want to do squats, please feel free. Okay, you need good form in this one. Here we go for six. Tummy tight. Reach. One more here. Okay, good. Going into the Monica squat. Here in the front, stand is one. Two, big leg circuit here. Three. One more. All right, six weighted squats. I'm using 15s. Okay, woo! Going into round two. Back to your ultimate deadlift. Stick your chest out. Knees are soft. High pull here. Squat, curl, press. One. One more. Okay, good. Good mornings for six. Knees are soft, tummy tight. And reach. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Six, going into the Monica, and one, two, four. Six, six squat jumps. All right, whoo, going into three. Ooh, shake your legs. I'm gonna do this whole round this way so you can watch my form if you want. Okay, ultimate deadlift. High pull, squat, curl. Press one. Three more. All right, good mornings. My hips are going way back. Knees are soft, feet shoulder width. One more. Okay, and Monica. Here we go. Squat, butt, stand. Back is flat. Last here. All right, squat jumps for six.
Okay, going into four. I'm gonna grab a sip, this is that metabolic part. You push until you can't. Rest until you can, keep going if you want. Okay, legs are shaky. Quads. Ready? So we're at round four with the ultimate. Let's work hard. Six, Monica. Remember, you can squat that instead of the good morning. Not super breathless, but shaky. All right, I'm going into five here. Back to my ultimate. Now I'm gonna focus on my core. Keep it tight. Don't wanna arch the back. One. Two. Good. Stretching the hams. Six. Good mornings. Turn tight. Four. 
Good mornings. one to one, then take a break and repeat for three rounds. So here's your circuit. You need a box or a bench or something to do tricep dips. If you don't have it, go ahead and do skull crushes instead. You're going to start with circuit one. You're going to do a push-up, floppy push-up combo. Then you'll move over to your weights. Here I've got 15s. I'm going to do a suitcase squat to a front squat. Okay, suitcase in front. Then I'll move over to my bench. I'm going to do tricep dips, and then a dip knee in, alternating knee in, then a dip, okay, and then we'll finish off with star jacks right here. Each will be for 30 seconds, then we'll get a 30 second break and repeat for three rounds. All right, so get into push-up position. You can modify these from your knees. I'm going to do regular push-up, then a floppy push-up. Don't stop for two minutes. Ready? Here we go. So push up here, then go to the ground. Push up here and go to the ground. Keep your core tight on the push up. Okay, now go to the next station. Suitcase squat, front squat, suitcase, front. No breaks here, remember. All right, go to your tricep dip or skull crusher. So, dip here, then dip knee in, dip knee in, and dip. Dip knee in, dip knee in, and dip. Okay, right into your star jump. Modify with the jack or here as well. Thirty second recovery. Arms are feeling that. Water if you need. If you don't need much recovery, take it here. I'm gonna bring heart rate down. Round two. Rest longer if you need. Push up to floppy and.
Okay. Suitcase squat, front squat. Go right into it. My body wants a deadlift. Straight behind you, not out to the side. Whew, stair jumps. Take a break. One more round. Uh, definitely need the break after that, don't we? <clears throat> Last one, everyone. Two minutes of work. Okay, let's work hard. Make a count for Kelly. Here we go. And push up here, flop here. sequence, suitcase, front. Subscribe to this channel. I put out new videos every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You don't want to miss one. All right. Oh, those tricep dips hurt my wrists. How about you guys? I know, hey? It's too bad. It's great exercise, but I put my heel up on elevated surface. You don't have one on the ground, it's fine. Knee is soft. And you're hinging forward. Oh. Okay, that was fun. I like the variety, the switching it up there. That six by six felt long with some of those moves. <laughs> I'm like, 
Okay, probably shouldn't have done the ultimate deadlift in something like that because you kind of want it to go fast, you know, so that you can push until you can't, rest until you can type of thing, switch legs. But that's one of Kelly's favorites, that and the Monica. She likes the grandma too, but she didn't request that. She did request a renegade row and I, it didn't fit with what I wanted, so sorry girl, <laughs> I missed that one. Oh, that feels good. You know, when you do request things like that, that actually helps me to be creative. Like how, like how long can I be creative for? <laughs> like how, much, how many ideas does one have in their brain? So if you suggest some things, knees together, hips forward, it's actually helpful for me to go, okay, ooh, we can do this as well. And so then I just kind of create from, from that. So feel free to hop in the comments below and make a suggestion of what you'd like to see in a workout. Switch sides here, knees together. Oh yeah, that's good. Um, Good, around 500 calories burned in this workout for me. So that is a good, a good one. Again, don't get hung up on that if yours is different. Really doesn't matter. All I know is that I gauge it against my own ability and what I did yesterday. And am I improving in my cardiovascular health? Am I improving in my endurance and my heart rate um, elevation? Like, are those things getting better and healthier? Let's hinge forward. I'm gonna reach to one side and just hold that stretch. That's what you gonna, gauge against who you were yesterday, not who I am today or who someone else on Instagram is today. It's just, are you improving? Are you evolving? Quentin, my husband, came into our membership group last night and we did a talk on um, mental health because he's a mental health, first aid, a first aid mental health um, speaker and presenter for the Mental Health Commission of Canada. So he does that. Stretch your chest, drop your shoulders. So we talked about it and one of the things that he talked to the group about was really working on, like you really have a choice like during lockdown, during COVID, during this pandemic season in year and maybe multiple years. You can work and choose to evolve in all the areas, you know, in spite of all the circumstances that can be so challenging and tough, or you cannot evolve. Right? And um, it doesn't mean you have to do something grand every day and make a huge difference and by leaps and bounds you're growing. No, it can just mean you make a decision to not be so reactive, you know, when your children are after you for the 400th time that day. Or you make a decision to go for a walk instead of to watch the next episode of Outlander. <laughs> Or while you're watching Outlander, you're doing the 10 Pilates moves that I just posted on Instagram. So, you know what, that's, that's what I'm talking about. It's all those micro processes again that add up to help us evolve to become better women and men. And um, that's what I hope for you. That's what the membership group is all about, is evolving in ways that are sustainable for the long haul. Not making grandiose changes that you can't stick with because that's just dumb. Right? That just sets you up for failure and to beat yourself up. So do things that you can do with 90 to 100% accuracy and you'll see yourself evolve and grow down the path to better health. And hey, I have a new 30 minute busy women program. It's all 30 minute workouts in a structured calendar. So you know exactly what to do. You're not repeating anything. Uh, lots of nutrition and wellness coaching that's available right there. And here's a workout for tomorrow. All right, see ya in the next workout.